All right, guys, welcome back to the table. And on the table, you see my Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0, blah, 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 blah. Actually, it's called the M&P Shield Performance Center Carry Comp, or Comp Carry. I think that's what it is. So a fairly long name for a fairly beautiful gun. And for those of you out there who have been fans of the Shield for many, many years, as I have been, you're going to tell probably right away, this has got to be the finest Shield they've ever made. So we're gonna take a look at this from top to bottom, front to back, and talk a little bit about this. Again, this is the initial review. These are my initial impressions on a firearm that I just picked up just the other day. And first off, I'm gonna tell you that it's absolutely beautiful. It's probably one of the nicest looking guns I've seen come out uh, that is factory made in quite a while. So let's start with the slide, um, because I think that's one of the nicest features of this gun right now. So you can see they've created these new serration cuts on the front and also on the rear. You can see that there's also some cuts on the slide in here. And of course, you've got the ported barrel and of course the port cut on the top here. You also have that nice, beautiful lime green front sight. So it's a high vis sight, which is nice. And the front, the back is actually blacked out. So it's, it's a very nice sight picture. Now, obviously I've already put a dot on here. So those of you who are asking, this actually mounts directly to the slide. Anything with 407K or 507K footprint, can go right on the slide here, which is pretty awesome. I mean, that's something that I, I absolutely love. I don't want plates if I can avoid them. And of course, Smith & Wesson does it right. So right now, this is what I have, which is the Siley Cat. I'm trying to get a, a Cat Pro because the only thing I like about this is that it actually loads from the bottom with the battery. And the Cat Pro loads from the side, if you guys can see it, because I took the, the gun off the camera. But uh, there is no battery tray on the side on this one. So I'm going to try to get a, a Siley Cat Pro to throw this on here. So you can see that you do have some cuts here. And um, again, just a really nice looking firearm overall. Just looks really, really good. There isn't too many th things in there. Obviously, caution capable of firing while unloaded. Okay, no kidding, duh. But uh, again, very, very nice looking kind of almost custom like look to the slide. The grip texturing is very typical of the 2.0 line. However, one of the things that I would say that I like about this one in particular is that while it is aggressive, it isn't like gonna rip your skin off like a cheese grater. Uh, it is aggressive enough to give you a good bite on the gun, but is not overly aggressive where it's gonna cause you some discomfort while carrying it, which brings me to my next point. You know, there's always gonna be these guns out there that are, are made and capable firearms, but they're maybe not the biggest guns. And one of the things that I know as a, somebody who carries on a daily is that the biggest thing for me is always comfort, you know, and I have some really good firearms, but I will say sometimes they get a little bit big and they get a little bit heavy over the day and you're looking for something a little bit better or something a little bit more convenient. And I have to say, man, the shield, in my opinion, fits that bill. Now, some might say, well, it doesn't give you maximum capacity in regards to how much ammunition you can carry. But, you know, my question would be then, well, how much ammunition do you really need? So first off, it does come with a uh, a, a flat faced um, base plate here. So uh, it is flush against the, the lower of this handgun. This is the 10 round version of your magazines. Now it does come with two other additional magazines. Comes with the 13 round magazine, which you see right here, unfortunately pinned to 10, but you can see that you do get your full grip on there as well. And it's a very, very comfortable feeling. The ergonomics on this are, are really, really good. And again, nothing different than any of the old shields. So just keep that in mind. If you've been a fan of the shield for all these years, this thing is going to be just right up the alley for you. It's just absolutely one of the best they've ever created. Then, of course, at the end of the day, if 13 rounds isn't enough and the original 10 rounds isn't enough, this is going to give you 15 additional rounds. So, I mean, technically, if you wanted to, you could carry a total of, what is that, 38 rounds on you with the three magazines total, which is, is pretty substantial. Now, some people may say, well, the 365 Fuse has, you know, what is it, 17 and then two 21 round magazines. And you'd be right, they definitely do, but it does increase the size of the grip. And, it, you know, that might be something that's a little bit off putting for some people who want something in a smaller frame. Now, don't get me wrong, I have this gun and I also have the Fuse, and I like them both quite a bit. This gun you can see is extremely thin. So, again, if you're looking for something that is a very competent shooter, but also extremely comfortable in your hand, even with somebody with large hands is going to feel comfortable carrying this gun for that reason. It is just very easy to manipulate this gun. Now, going back to the slide serrations, I will tell you the serrations are very, very usable. They are not just gimmicky. Uh, they do give a good bite on your hand. 
Um, could they be a little bit deeper? Sure. I think they could be, but I think they're, they're, they're pretty damn good. The trigger right out of the box. Fantastic. So like I said, when you, you know, look at this trigger, I mean, it's just perfect. If I hit the right spot. So you're looking at four pounds, 5.8 ounces, which is not too shabby. So about four, you know, four and a half, probably around that ballpark figure. So when we look at the trigger pull, I mean, the trigger pull is excellent on this gun. Now, again, I've said uh, when you pull it out of the, the wrapping and everything, uh, the trigger is going to feel a little crappy. However, once you wreck that slide, it is just perfect. I mean, there's very little take up right there. There's no additional travel. It just is such a clean break and a pretty fairly short reset to right about there. And then a nice follow up. I mean, overall, the gun is, is pretty much anything and everything you've ever wanted in a shield. You know, the ported barrel, ported, you know, the lightning cut in the front here. The addition of all of these nice serrations on the gun. Uh, the finish on here is just really, really sweet looking. And I mean, overall, it's just a mean looking gun. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind that if you're looking for a very good carry option, this might be the cake, man. And it does it really, really well. Um, there's really not much to complain about. I mean, even when you pull the gun apart, which I will do, uh, you get a, a nice metal guide rod in there. Again, very nice looking gun inside. It's very clean. There's not really much to, you know, to really talk about here. I mean, it looks like every other freaking gun. But, uh, you know, overall, a shield is a shield, a shield. And that's what this is, you know. But at the same time, with the additions of some of the things they put on this gun, like the ported barrel and, and all that other stuff, it really does look amazing. And I have to say, it feels pretty darn good. One of the things I probably will do is get something to add to the pinky here, just to give me a little bit of extra pinky room there, which I really would like to have. But I mean, overall, there's not much to complain about. It's got a great sight picture. It's got very nice serrations, good ergonomics, super thin profile, small grip, medium grip, and a very large grip. So it just depends on how you want to carry it. In my opinion, all of them are extremely carryable and concealable, but you know it's going to be up to you to decide how you want to carry that and what you're going to wear with it. I mean, overall, very good gun. I truly, truly can't wait to shoot this gun because it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I will be following up this video with that shooting video so that you guys can check, take a look at it, and I'll give you some more of my impressions afterwards. But overall, so far, so good. I mean, if I was going to pick anything about this gun that I'm a little bit, you know, kind of, hmm, it's got to be the pins. Um, and let me explain that. So like your rear pin here, your front pin there, and also your trigger pin. All of them are pushed out a little bit more on this side. But if you flip the gun over, they're all recessed. So I'm not sure if they meant to do that, if that's the way they're supposed to be. Um, it might be supposed to be like that because they look like they're a little bit flowered on this side. So it's probably because they're pushing them in from right to left or excuse me, left to right. And that kind of holds it in place. Again, not truly really sure about that. If you guys know, let me know in those comments. So I hope you liked the video. Tell me what your thoughts are on this beautiful shield. And if you're going to get one or if you have one or why won't you get one? I'd love to know. So I hope you guys have a great night. Stay safe. And as always, everyone, freedom is never free.